Okay, hi YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these fingerless gloves. These are so easy to make. As with everything in my channel, everything is so easy to make. Alright, let's get to it. What I'm using today is I'm going to be using Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. You know, there used to be $3, now they're $5. It's crazy, right? Okay, yeah, so this is the yarn I'm using, and this is the needle I'm using. It's a 5mm hook, and it's actually from the Dollar Tree store. First things first, a slip knot. This is how I make my slip knot. I wrap it around my two fingers and then the tail under pull is how I make my slip knot. Okay, then you insert your hook to it and we're going to crochet 21 stitch. One, two, three, five, seven, Okay, that's my 21 stitch. Now I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in the next one and in the next one until I get so we're going to single crochet in each stitch till we get into the end. And this is your first row. Single crochet is so easy. So you just insert your hook in the stitch, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through both loops. Again, insert your hook in a stitch, yarn over, pull a loop. Now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. And that's how you single crochet. And there is my first row. I'm gonna grab my ruler. So I have my ruler here. Okay. And my thing is about six, six inches. Okay. So we're going to create a square of six by six inches. So for the next row, and this is how you're going to continue to do every single row. So chain one, turn your work, and you're going to be working in the back loop of the stitch. So this is, this is kind of weird to see the first stitch. This is the first stitch right here, so we're going to insert our hook into that back stitch, yarn over, pull through, and single crochet. Again. Working in the back stitch, single crochet. And that's how we're going to do every single row of this project. And you're going to need about 20 to 21 rows. I, I say 21 rows. Working in the back loop. There you go. Because usually you'll insert it right here, but in this pattern we're going to be working on the back loop and what that does is it gives you this nice ridge see the ridges and who doesn't like texture right okay we're going to continue that in each so you should have like 20 
20 stitches if you have 21 make it 21 so the last stitch I always go for both not the back loop I, I just do both of them there you go that's our second row again um, so we're going to do yarn over and pull through one okay and then you're going to work on the back stitch again on that first row so that's your single crochet again so and that's what you're going to be doing for 21 rows or 20 rows it just depends on when you hit your um, 6 by 6 square 6 inches okay there you go and what you'll end up with is okay what you'll end up with is something like this now this is we started with 20 21 um, stitch with this our foundation chain is 21 this is 30 and I'm going to show you the difference between 21 and 30 Okay, this is a completed one I finished and I haven't um, thing but what you're gonna what you're gonna have with 30 with 30 stitches is a longer fingerless glove okay you see but with the 20 I like the 20 because um, I wear an Apple watch with the 20 this is what you'll get the six inch and with the 30, if you want it a little bit longer, which you can, it's a longer glove. Okay. So, so once we have um, 20 rows, which is, so now you have like your 20 or 21 rows, what you're going to do, I always use a smaller hook to complete my project. So what you're going to do next is you're going to, well, what you can do first is do like this. Okay. Tie those two together, which you don't have to, but you just OCD like that. Okay, so now this is our yarn here. So now we're going to pull up a loop and single crochet well chain one <clears throat> and then you're going to single crochet one two single crochet because what we're doing is we're piecing these two together okay so that's two single crochet three four <clears throat> five single crochet okay so we have one two three four five six there you go six single crochet okay now we're going to do another five single crochet but we're gonna going to release that side so we're just gonna do it on this side one two three four and five and that will create our hole so now we're going to line up our pieces again line it up like that so now you're going to insert a single crochet in the next stitch by binding the two pieces together so there's your hole and now you're just going to continue to single crochet. Hey, don't kill me! Okay, so now we're going to trim our leftover yarn and 
yarn over and pull through all the way. Now we're going to use a this big needle here. And I'm just going to weave my tail in my yarn. guys enjoy this tutorial if you do give me a thumbs up subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet and share this video thank you for watching